basically what I want right. us to Hello do and is, good afternoon, uh, good uh, evening, kind of good like morning to Session Edgar, 2 of Operation Squad Nightmare. Squad here hosted by Squad Ops. Squad Dot GG and should check us out. It's a uh, one life event. We host on Wednesdays and twice on Saturdays. And uh, we're hoping for some good matches today. Uh, I am your one of your commentators, uh, Shadowed Ritual, joined by joined by uh, Best Pony. How's it going, Best Pony? Uh, it's it's going pretty good. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. We had a nice session earlier. Two great rounds. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm back after commanding uh, those to come commentate for this one. So we're hoping for some uh, some pretty good matches. Uh, since you did command earlier this morning, what do you think? Uh, how do you think these matches are going to go today? Let's see. I think this first one is going to be uh, well. It's going to be a little, probably a little less close. Probably pretty solid U.S. Uh, play overall. Just because if you look at the cash locations, one of them over there in in Foxtrot three. Simply is, is not going to work. Uh, if you look you look on the map, you know in the operation document, it's the only caches the insurgents could pick from are the ones to the west of the Charlie Delta line, and uh, there's one cache that's way off in Foxtrot Three, and that marker is, is so far from the Charlie Delta line that the U.S. is going to know more or less exactly where this cache is. They're going to they're going to be able to create a very solid plan that's based pretty much entirely around getting up here in this part of the map and uh, and yeah, nailing the insurgents. There's a lot of good avenues of approach. You know, they, they can get the striker probably up in here too pretty easily. And yeah, they can they can go to town because they know exactly where this, this enemy base is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and bring up the uh, overlay for a second. We're going to go ahead and give you the breakdown of the op. This is an uh, attack and defense op. The uh, U.S. are attacking an insurgent fob. The U.S. assets include two ARs, a GL, a medic for the platoon, a striker, and a uh, transport. The insurgents have two ARs, two lats, a scout, a medic, four discus for their fob, and then any vehicles that they can scround. And up to and including two SPGs, a uh, BRDM, the scout car, or I believe up to like four discus techies that are just scattered around the map. So the insurgents have a lot of choices for today. Um, this ob objective is the objective of this game, or of this uh, op, is to basically anything. East, or sorry, west of the uh, Charlie Delta line is a, a cache that the insurgents can pick. And as you can see, there is one cache for them to pick up in the, looks like the Bravo 3 area. And uh, and that's going to make it a lot pretty easy, as Pony was saying, for the uh, the U.S. to figure out how they're going to how they're gonna attack this point. And uh, we'll definitely see how, uh, how uh, LaRue... How Larue plans on attacking attacking this objective. We're gonna go ahead and go through the uh, the commands and squad leads for each team, so you know who's on uh, hey whose side. Uh, Larue is commanding the U.S. this round with uh, squad right, leaders okay. Odessa, Satan, Silent, Road, if you want. and uh, Hamlet. For uh, just, yeah, the really insurgent good. teams this it's round, it is D-Mine commanding okay. with Burns, and the Muff Bandit, Google exactly Trex, and Cyclus. Exactly so, a lot of uh, a uh, lot of pretty on the hill, just on the pretty uh, seasoned so, squad lead. So not a lot of new people here. I think D Mind he's maybe uh, yeah. maybe uh, commanded a handful of times, no more than five I'd say. So he's probably the newest blood, but he still he definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and uh, listen in on the uh, INS brief. Sounds like they're about to about to uh, start. Try and listen and see see what uh, D Mind has planned. Oh, so in a minute? Are you guys ready? Yes. And his crew out from behind, okay? Um, if they do slip past and we don't notice it somehow, Sightless's squad will be on point, direct. Uh, he will be the HVT, the high-value target, so if you're in his squad, make sure he does not die. And that's about it. We'll mesh this plan as we go, but for now, it's just going to be a giant net here, and to just kill him from behind is generally the plan. Any questions? Uh, is the plan to let them walk past and then no, no, no. From but if I'm going to leave a so every, each squad's going to leave a buddy team to just hide, right? So that if you guys do engage, at least that buddy team will still be alive. Um, and then what's going to happen was once they do go past, that buddy team's going to try and take out as many as they can from behind. Does that make sense? Is a follow-up question behind the main What's that? 
I don't know. So buddy team will be behind their squad or the buddy team will be in front of their squad? So Jack is going to waltz right through once they kill most of the squad, right? They're going to just keep going past. They'll probably check a bit, but it's pretty dark, so I'm not sure if they'll spot you if you're hidden pretty well as a buddy team. If you are that buddy team that's staying behind to just kind of lay low, once they do all pass, then you're going to hit from behind and then link us, link up with us here. Does that make sense? So, so one buddy team is not going to engage at all and just hide. Exactly. You're just going to hide somewhere safe and just let them pass. Got Until it. they pass, once you pass, you're gonna hit them from behind. Okay. All right, let's, let's, let's get this on. All right. We don't take no L's. Or fall out, rather. We're gonna take no L's. All right, that's the uh, end of the INS brief. We're going to go ahead and listen to... looks like the U.S. are about to start their brief. We're going to go ahead and listen in on that. Accomplish this is... We're going to have Satan squad. They're going to be manning the striker. He's going to have a driver, and the rest of his squad will be clearing the road in directly in front of the striker. So squad one, your striker and mine sweeping duty. Squad three, Hamlet squad. They're going to be pulling 360 on the striker. They'll be covering both flanks and the rear of it, making sure that no filthy uh, INS try and sneak behind it and either put an IED on the back of it or try and hit him with the lats. So that's what Satan and Hamlet are going to be, squads are going to be doing. Odessa squad is going to be Odessa. You want the north northern flank of the two? Yeah. All right. Odessa and Silent Squads are going to be on our north side, walking in a platoon line formation directly west. It's going to look like this, guys. Squad 1 is going to be on Striker Mark. Squad 3 is going to be on MG Mark. So that's Satan and Hamlet. We're going to have Silent Death on the MG. And Odessa on the Sniper. We're going to proceed this way until we uh, either reach the city, see contact, or uh, see enemy vehicles moving. Then we're going to shift the front two squads, which is Odessa and Silent. They're going to come directly in front of the column. Like this, and we're going to continue walking them in, in a triangle protecting our armored vehicle. We are going to push all the way to just south of Alpha 4 or 5 line on the friendly fire mark. That will be the staging point. From there, we are going to continue sweeping, clearing buildings left right off the road towards the enemy cache location. Once, we just, uh, once we've just reached the uh, field in Alpha 4 8 8, New friendly fob marker. The striker should ah, be able to support up. the infantry on all the hills there, as it should have eyes on contacts uh, peeking windows on the hills or road. Uh, we'll basically do a three-pronged attack. Squad 1, 2, and 3 with squad 4 covering. Uh, move in, eliminate the HVT and the fob. Then we're going to exfil the same way to the exfil point. Marked on new friendly fob mark in Delta 4, 2, 3. Does anyone have any questions? Are you positive that that will leave us enough time to exfiltrate? Uh, I'm not concerned about exfilling. If we kill them or HVD and take their fob, I'll be happy. We're just going to try and make our way back there before the map ends. If that, uh, no one has any other... good? Yeah, call ready. Why do we have a um, cache location northeast? They can't spawn there. It's uh, RGO. Alright, let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Right. Yeah. I'm afraid. Hey, uh, check. Yep. For Xville as a result. So it's an up. interesting uh, choice as uh, um, somebody in a uh, chat with me. Maybe we should have X It's a US push from the south. They, I think they're doing a single push from the south using all three squads with the striker squad yeah, in support. Yeah, that yeah, that may. Like it's, it's a. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how that approach works. They have definitely, if they have an HMG on that, that road to the south, that may halt that advance entirely. But uh, we'll see how prepared they are. How prepared the INS are, and uh, how well the uh, the U.S. squad leads can uh, pull it together. Yeah, that's that really that southern approach is going to depend largely on speed. If if Larue is playing smart, 
he's going to get troops down there really quickly, try and prevent the INS from getting really inserted into the right, region. Squad two, squad four, let's uh, get ready. But squad three, yeah, if, squad if they one. give the INS time to dig in, it's it's going to be a very nasty uphill battle what here. Get Lots in? of great compounds, yeah, great yeah, hills. Yeah. It's, right, it's going to be pretty the... brutal if the insurgents can get their, their technicals up we're and get troops down to that, that southern section of this, the this half of the map. One, two column. Pretty much. Let's it's... Blitz there fast I'm, I'm a little skeptical the, about this uh, this plan, honestly, but we're, we're going to see if LaRue can pull it off. Remember, if you have any problems exceeding what's it, just let me know. Looks like the, uh, the insurgents are so command, you want getting grouped up. up in the They're ready to sprint out right of the mine. Oh, there we go. And looks like a little tidbit yep. from Satan. Coffee. Dismounting Delta Four Keypad Two. Oh wow! Right over the cities. They are. They're gonna go at this nice and slow. Right, which I'm leave the may be their downfall. Two guys uh, if they're, at the they let they let the mine, you know, get down to those techies, get down to that that BRDM. Yeah. Then that's a lot of firepower that's gonna be focused their way once they get over to the southern half of the map. So the uh, the U.S. The, the way they're talking is they're gonna they're gonna blitz. That's that's their plan. They're gonna try and get to the expo point, and uh, they're gonna try and just use speed to their advantage. Uh, we'll definitely see if that works out for them. Uh, uh, Larue is still a pretty newish commander, so we're still trying to figure out his his style. Like a lot of people who command a lot. You sort of know, you start to learn how, how they play, like Expit is slow, methodical, like extremely well thought out plans, ponies, same, his, his well thought out plans with a lot of a lot of steps. You know, uh, the my plans where I sort of just let the squad leads do do a lot of uh, improv. We're still trying to figure out how Jack Jack does his things, LaRue does his, uh, runs his platoons, right, squad, and uh, it's, it's really interesting to see him, Let's get the see him work. Yeah, yeah, he definitely mixes a little bit between want, styles. At, at times, I've seen him go for really methodical, really step-by-step yeah, -step plans, the, and other times uh, he, he does a, a karma cut style, Copy, pile everyone into a couple vehicles and just, just rush right in there uh, tactic. Yeah. So, That's a perfect sense for we'll, the, we'll see uh, how this plays out for like him. Seems right to be there. kind of... Um, uh, not even really west. as much of a rush as it is kind of like, it's it's a half rush. He's, he's rushing as far as he thinks he can get away with. He's not going to rush hard on the south and burn all the way over to the A column. He's going to stop right on that hill above the city, play it nice and safe, and then kind of gradually make his way towards the, the actual objective. I like this screen he has going for his striker. It looks like he wants to play a lot of a lot of the matches we saw, uh, both matches we saw earlier, the striker was played really far back. They, they used it at range. They put it up on this hill at... Uh, up on this hill that the uh, U.S. is passing now, and it looks like the uh, the U.S. wants to play close with the uh, the striker. It looks like they want to keep it integrated with the platoon, so they have a uh, they have uh, security all around it. They've got security in front, sweeping for mines. They've got security on the sides, making sure the insurgents aren't going to sneak up on them. And I, I really like how how he's playing with the security. And we'll see what he does with these other two uh, platoons that are about to peek into the going? city. Okay. Sounds like yeah, he's going to push them directly moving, into moving. the city. He's going to keep them moving uh, into the city. A to the, uh, and uh, the we'll four. push a little southwest towards me. We'll definitely see see what uh, how he wants to play the infantry. The uh, on at the same time, D mine is playing a very very wide defense. He's got maybe a squad on the on the point. Everybody else, he's got. Got a full squad of the south. The full squad looks like they're about to enter the city that may be spotted here soon. If this okay, US is if this US is using their binoculars right, they're gonna see these guys in the, uh, entering the city. Command, do you want us to clear this compound? Yeah, this these these here? insurgents are getting oh, very yeah, daring. They're they're waltzing right, right up into these buildings. Light, light clearing, light clearing. That is, you know, it's a very, uh, that's a bold. Oh, I, I I'm like hearing that. that order come down from Larue. The light Striker clearing. It's going to be. On Striker, South Road. It's going to be very interesting to see if these these U.S. constant yeah. forces actually Everybody see in these insurgents or the insurgents Hunker get the first few shots in. So Google has eyes on the striker. He's a squad lead for the insurgents right now. Squad one for the insurgents. He has eyes on the striker. He's calling out its position. So that striker is marked. Oh, here, here's Google's got eyes on him right now. Definitely sees him. I don't think he sees any of the infantry. He, he just knows that there's a striker to the south. He's not. I don't know if he's called out any infantry yet. And 
And if the uh, U.S. are going to lightly clear this, uh, these buildings, the, the, the insurgents may be able to come up behind them. So and that may be their downfall. Uh, like, it's a soft clear is what he's saying, which basically means yeah. if you're not being shot at as you pass the building, you just pass it up. He's just trying I to get through there I see an insurgent quickly. now with his, uh, his lad out. Looks like he's waltzing around in this compound over here to the north of those that U.S. patrol. Uh, it's not clear that he's going to take a shot. I think it's a little bit too far, but we're going to we're going to see. It looks like he's you know he's got it out and he's he's really thinking about it. He's strongly considering trying to pop that thing over there on the road. Wouldn't be the best angle for a shot, but the the U.S. It's, screen is just, just so I don't know if it's intentional, but this U.S. screen is like perfect against these guys inside the. Uh, Inside the city, those insurgents inside the city, like if they take any kind of shot at the strike, you've got a full squad on the east side or the north side ready to uh, take shots at. Oh, I just heard Somebody a GL just pop off. Fired a GL smoke in the middle of the uh, road. I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know if they thought they they saw a, uh, a mine or something. Yeah, that was my squad. He's uh. Oh, um, just wait a sec. See, we're trying to report. figure out. We're trying to figure it out now. Yeah, looks like these these insurgents are definitely getting bypassed here. The U.S. don't. Oh, contact, we got contact, one kind of wandering over this way, but uh, he's sticking just five, far away enough that I don't think the insurgents are going to risk popping him. They're going to let him pass. Hamley is calling out keypad insurgents. Six, he sees the insurgents. Alpha five keypad six. So he sees these guys on the southwest, they're right in front of the striker. They see these guys. They see the guys directly on the road. They've got eyes on them. They know. They they called out a rough estimate. They think it's a full squad. And uh, we'll see. The, they've stopped. They stopped to, to analyze the situation, which may be may give time for the insurgent in the in the city compound. time to move around. Two, eight, five. But the the squad of uh, U.S. moving through the city right now is being bypassing the insurgent squad almost entirely. Like, They're about to run into contact, though. I'm right, watching so as, we'll as an unfortunate old, American on the road. walks Who's directly the up the road towards these two insurgents prone Somebody here in this field. This is going to be... Uh, not in if these guys make contact in the city, probably they're probably going to get those insurgents, but I, I expect at least one poor U.S. soldier to uh, lose their yeah, life there on the road. Sounds any? like Google Trex <laughs> is. Uh, I don't know. They're saying. Sounds like Google Trex is just telling his guys to stay down, let them buy. Which is, it's just uh, really good for uh, them. Like Google's got that that discipline uh, to. Spotted, the, uh, like information is key in ops. Three. Like it, uh, the way three, what the way I command that, okay. whenever I send out scouts, I I, I tell them, hey, I don't uh, care if you go one for one. Like that that's not important to me. I want to know what what you see. Like how many people are over there? Is it the full platoon? Is it the full squad? Like. Help me prepare better so the, that the platoon has a chance to survive, not just, you know, you may be getting the one kill, you may be getting the two kills, because just information is key and ops, in my opinion. Yep. Right, Very one, true. Looks like the, uh, uh, this, this negligent discharge, or whatever this was, is actually kind of fortunate for this U.S. squad in the city, because they're... <laughs> Since since that ND happened, they, they were forced to halt, and now it looks like they're starting to spread out and clear a little bit better, so they might actually manage to find these insurgents who are kind of surrounding them. What's it looking like over there, Hamley? So, and I don't even, I don't know if that was an M4 fire, fire an AK fire was so high up that I, uh, it was hard, it was hard to tell. Near the blue container. So, on the left or that right side. The US on the south, they have started moving again. They're, they're moving, they're clearing out these buildings right really, right. really nicely. Right hand side road. This is a pretty like thin defense. So like it, it's pretty pretty thin on the uh, the insurgent side. They're pretty spread out. They're in twos and threes, which it's pretty sneaky. It's pretty insurgent like. But when two people come into contact with a squad of nine, when two people come into contact Remember, with a squad of nine, it's just that they, they don't have a chance. Uh, push a little like, farther west. Uh, like it, the, honestly, uh, like they're they are they are just gonna get. Just run right, through maybe if they get they could maybe get a kill Let's maybe two kills but west. they're just gonna get run through and that may not be the uh best use of assets it looks like they're just using right, them as scouts though looks like they're AI just gonna use these guys as scouts they're just gonna, gonna look the around make sure the they they keep the tabs on the striker the the striker's really what makes or break firm. All right, let's get, uh, let's get some just people on this road. So being able to attack. All right, and down here in the fields, we have a development. The U.S. are watching, walking right over, right over the top of these poor insurgents. They're just running right by. It's almost, oh, here's one right now. Look, look, right by. 
Command just just right a few feet away from this insurgent on the ground. It's, Love it's these night maps. Things this like discipline that is the time maps. just impressive. The the fact that these insurgents have faith that they're they're they haven't been found that they haven't been spotted is is really just that's an impressive word. Feet of difficult right there. And there's, there's a squad leader too. He's walking right by. You know, insurgents five feet away from him in the tall grass, but he has no idea. And that's yeah, they've just they've walked right past an entire insurgent squad. Just, just right here in the city, who can now Very later good job on them. come up behind them and get rid of them. Yeah, the the U.S. Are, have completely bypassed this squad. There's two people in the rear, know. and it looks like there's command and, and somebody else the over IDs here in the, in the, in the east. The but we'll see like, if these uh, insurgents west, can uh, hit these guys in the rear. Two, They've got a yeah, there's a gigantic squad, platoon line from north to south. Just, they're just moving west. It's almost a, it's almost like a, a yeah. one like we have audio single west. single line north to south with the the inserts behind them. This is this is the perfect opportunity for the INS to try and push in and delay them. But I'm thinking they're gonna wait for them to commit to them to uh to commit to to uh to an attack before coming coming in behind them. Yeah. Don't get too close. No, oh, the insurgents are still still building up in, at their uh, their fob. They've got the single squad over there, just, just building up, making sure the uh, yeah. the the INS are are together. Yeah, right. In my, uh, my fear, they just walked right by them. These night maps, like they're that happens. It's like the the atmosphere, you, you can't see it. This, they look like they were face down in the dirt. Like yeah, this guy is still face down in the dirt. He is scared to look up, scared to move. They just don't want to be spotted. And then uh. Yeah, definitely in these one life events, they're uh, you're, 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 you, you actually care about dying. Right? It's not just a normal vanilla game of squad where you can respawn. Squad four two, you uh, and clear that hill out. Squad three's gonna clear the road. You, and you definitely want to uh, make your life count. Squad one copy. Say again, command. There are shots. Looks like they're engaging. Squad two and four, I want you clearing that hill out of the contact. Squad I think they're engaging the INS far up on the hill to the uh, north. Or sorry, uh, west. Things are about to get hot in the city as well. We've got okay, two uh, two Americans. Oh, oh, they're about to die. Yep. Strike, Scout Striker just saw spotted. them, but oh no, maybe he didn't. He didn't see him at all. He's now the insurgents Strikers are the ones getting flanked. We've got three out. insurgents here, he not paying attention. U.S. call out, hold fire. They see all three you of them. Now the uh, the flankers yeah, have become the flanked. Shot. This is this is a disaster for the insurgents. They're all their carefully laid plans have Squad two is attacked east of gone away because of one U.S. buddy team. Contact or heavy contact? Oh yeah, there's there's Google oh, right over there. Foe fires Dude. calling it out. Got the, got the on the ground the perspective. They can see him right there. They got home. they got Google. I'm not sure they saw Google, but they definitely saw his uh, his squad squaddies over there. Just ran off. Okay, we're gonna hold. It looks they're, like these guys have turned around. Frightened. The people yep. that were passed up, they're, they're, they've all turned around. Yeah, the contact you're engaging. Yeah, these these U.S. guys though, they're they're a little too afraid to take the shot. They saw how many insurgents there were, and they do not want to get into this right now. But they've they've passed that information along to their squad, who hopefully will. Will heed their warning, turn around, and spot these insurgent contacts. Oh, They're there we go. Shots. Taking shots, Rico is being Looks shot like we got at contacts by here. Boogie. If we take, if we start taking heavy loss, and uh, the four, insurgents one, are and getting shredded in this field. There's no cover at all. Yeah, got Rico's one down, down so far. U.S. Are, are online and engaging. It's yeah. There's not too much hope for the insurgents that they return fire. Oh, frag out. Yep, and both of the insurgents who were bypassed earlier are now wounded. And one's dead. The other one's bandaging, but he's probably going to die too here in a second. All an unfortunate turn of events because one guy was standing up. They spotted maybe we two, two lap. three people. We're yeah, two contact. people got here. antsy and left the building. And that's kind of how it goes. The uh, U.S., on the other hand, they, they, the scouts at the... Uh... On the uh, south, they've spotted. I'm taking lap fire. I'm almost down. Have been spotted. The two scouts in the buildings directly in front of the Drop striker the were just taken out. Oh, Google checks is dead. Executed by a U.S. soldier. A lot, lot of like small skirmishes going on around the map. This, these, these light defenses, they, they can either go really well or not great at Google's, all. Yeah. It doesn't Negative. seem to be 
working after them. They almost had it. They almost got bypassed. They just had to wait maybe a minute longer, two minutes longer before they decided to move. And they just got yeah, they, they just got greedy for information. Like that? That's, that's, that's what happened. They wanted to know what was going on. They wanted to see the people they they had seen, and uh, they they We're they paid for it. Now. Yeah, and, uh, looks great like job there's on the, a... the US rear security. Sorry, one, two, one left from this fire team over here. Google's got one fire team over there on the, the south, but here in the north, it's just one guy, and he's oh, he's about to get a free kill. Unless he, he lets this guy go to try and survive, which looks like that's what he's doing. He knows that there's there's just no chance that he can win this engagement. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven U.S. soldiers all around him. He's he's gonna sit tight and wait this one out. There's, there's... On solo, Rice Meiser in this field, surrounded by U.S. infantry, and uh, he's got those four in the building. It's definitely, yeah. a definitely a, uh, your, your heart is beating, uh, you know, a thousand miles an hour at this point, just hoping that you're not spotted, hoping they don't look down, hoping they just bypass you a second time. We'll see if they get lucky again. Like, Every footstep he hears has got to be scaring this guy out of his mind. They're just clopping around in this field. Oh my god, he's going to run right on they top? He him. jumped over him! He jumped he's going over back. him. He's going back. I thought he had seen him. He, he wow. Went back like he had seen Incredible. him. Incredible. He would have figured it out if he didn't jump, but because he jumped, he jumped hold, right hold, over hold, the guy. Hold, 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 hold. This is wow. Incredible. What a turn! What a... like they they lost two in that engagement. Oh, five, five in that engagement. They lost. They, they lost, lost five. That was they lost five in that engagement. So a steep price they, to pay. They got a little little bit lucky. At least they right, these two man. survived. Maybe two maybe this you. squad. There's I'm getting four left. Six, six left. We need fire down. There is six left. Maybe they can come up behind them. Yeah, so the, far, the, the U.S. have the upper hand. Sticking tight. Yep. The uh, striker seems to be coming into contact with, yes, I believe it's squad three up on the uh, right, west hill. Down, squad three down. led by Burns. And uh, they marked them, geo marked them with red smoke. They've got a lot of U.S. fire coming down onto this hill. And it looks like the INS are forced to fall back. There's no way they're going to be able to return any kind of effective fire. LaRue is calling for the U.S. striker to pull up and start engaging these guys on the hill. But the INS are already in a full retreat, looks like. They're, they are pulling back. It looks like they're about to push this hill with everything they have with striker supports. And uh, we'll see if the INS decides to hold on the other side of this hill and wait for them to come. The U.S. to come to the Lambert. They're just going to go full full retreat and get out of there. Looks like he, uh, we're going into Hamlet's view. He is uh, going up the hill. He's going to help lead this charge, it looks like. Tell these guys that they need to go. They need to get up there. There's and it looks like they're moving. The U.S. is... Or INS is in full retreat, it looks like. They're popping smokes and they're just running. Hot cover between you and yes, them. they are. Meanwhile, down here in the, do uh, in the fields, it looks like these insurgents here are finally uh, going to link up yeah, and, and stage another another attack. Negative. Hold striker, or get something going. As we take this that that fire team we're waited a nice long for, time after their their last little yeah, lesson in impatience so that they could relink up with these these two guys in the field and you know hopefully get back to the front line and get some revenge. Just southwest of us. Uh, the US line is is cut, I, I would say. Not not cut exactly, but it's not connected. I don't think the this uh I think this is Odessa squad here. Got a little little far away from the rest of the uh, US platoon and they're almost they're walking in between a two two fire teams of INS right now, and if the INS just sort of look look in that direction they can just uh start laying fire down on them. The INS We're looking for the Three feet. Oh, uh, they took out the INS. Took out some, uh, or the U.S. took out two INS on this hill. Looks like they're going to keep pushing west using uh, Odessa's uh, in Odessa squad. And uh, looks like we're uh, on XF's camera. Let's see if I can find him. The uh, U.S. are just going to keep pushing west. Going to try and. Uh, Get into this uh, insurgent so resupply out. point, and uh, you probably use that as a foothold to uh, start pushing north. On, uh, in the meantime, the other U.S. team has, has taken over this this hill that uh, Burns squad has just recently uh, abandoned, and they're right. going to keep they're going to try and keep keep moving. All right, squad three, hold the hill. Squad four, I want you clearing these compounds directly north. Roger.
Yeah, you got the, the U.S. moving in, kind of clearing this compound now. Uh, the insurgents Hello. just fled moments ago, so it looks like they're going to be able to get out, yeah, watch get a little lucky there. U.S. is very carefully clearing this place. You know, they don't want to... Don't want to get nailed by an insurgent holding one little corner, just kind of waiting for them. In the compound at Alpha. INS are playing a very fluid defense. They're not holding anything. They're not hard pointing anything. It looks like. It looks like they're trying to just just get the information and then get out. It looks like they're gonna just try and draw them into the kill zone that they're building at their uh, their main compound. XF, yeah, just look. Yeah, I'm on. I'm overviewing XF right now. He's looking south. He's uh. He sees the scout, or sorry, the uh, striker. He sees this full, full uh, U.S. team, or sorry, full U.S. squad. And uh, XF is a lat, so if we can get some shots onto the striker, that may be able to release some kind of pressure. Because even if you don't kill the striker, if you get two shots on it, it makes it just so much easier for the U.S. to keep to. Uh, sorry, it makes it so much easier for the INS to uh, finish it off. And uh, even then, like just. Being, being hit by two, even one lat as a striker driver, there, you just it, 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 it hits you in your six, nerves. Like six, you're thinking, I don't want to be the guy that loses the striker. Like I don't, I don't want to lose this asset that's the only like heavy armor we've got for the team. And except has his lats out. Except has his lat out. He takes a shot and he hits. That is one hit on that striker. We'll see if he can land another. The U.S. immediately turned. They see, they see XF, they don't, well, they know where he came from, XF is, XF was hit, he is bandaging now, they're pulling the striker out, they're pulling it around the bend, they're gonna try and get it into cover, XF can't, can't take another right. shot, he's not near any, any kind of, uh, medic, looks like, oh, actually, these guys back here, maybe, there may be a medic back here, he's gonna pull back, pull back to them, this squad, I believe this is Google's Remnants, squad two, we need push yeah, Google's remnant squad. They're uh, they're pulling up behind this the, uh, U.S. platoon, and uh, this may actually work out. They're they're not their their rear security is is reactive at this point. It's not it's not super. It's not proactive. They're only they're only turning around to uh, to when they get shot at. Three and four. Yes. Two. In the meantime, over here in the middle, we've got the U.S. kind of carving things up. Got one buddy team out here that's a little stranded. Then there's another I an INS squad, of course, sort of scattered to the uh, the west. You know, they're or to the north rather. They're hanging out. You know, they're kind of trying to hold, but they're taking a lot of casualties here, and it's not really clear what the strategic value of, of holding this Contacts particular set of buildings are. They don't have a lot of lad up here. They might be trying to get something that's set up with the SPGs, but at what cost? The uh, U.S. have spotted Google's remnant squad here on the uh, the east, and uh, they they've already taken out one. Looks like XF just went down, I believe. Yep, it looks like XF. Yeah, XF just got taken out. The uh, the rear is calling for squad two on rear security. This the the whole idea. I, I'm starting to I'm starting to understand the U.S. plan is just delaying. They've already delayed. Almost 30 minutes of this. They have 26 minutes left to, to finish the objective, and they are a good like 600, 700 meters away from the actual compound. So like they're they're just they're hitting and running. They're they're being super like what people what well what I believe the insert should be like hit and run and move around. Just keep keep moving. You can't take on the uh, the US head on. So you just sort of just need to, to delay them in other ways. Yeah, they're, they're definitely doing a good job down here of that. Uh, they've, they've lost a, a fair number of people. It looks like there's only four or five left down here, this particular section of buildings. But they've got maybe nine or ten U.S. contacts facing them down. And, you know, they're drawing a lot of fire. These U.S. have expended a bunch down of belts of saw ammo, a lot of mags of rifle fire. They're, they're chewing through their limited ammo yeah, reserves here trying to get rid of these guys. Down the road. Very, yeah, the very F2, true. F2. SPGs all queued up. They're just waiting for that striker. But the U.S. is starting to clear buildings, so it's it's unclear if the U.S. are going to clear up first or whether the uh, the striker is going to show up and the SPGs can take a shot at it. It looks like they're they're leaving a single squad to deal with uh, the, the the remnants of the INS that are in the rear, and and is going to try and keep the rest of his platoon. He he understands that there's only a limited amount of time for this up. Specifically, like this op, because there's like an hour entirely. 
And uh, so he's just trying to get people moving. Keep pushing, boys. He's gonna keep, yeah, he's gonna keep people moving and leave two to deal with the uh, the rest of these guys. We'll see if they try and uh, push into these buildings and, and clear them out, like, or or wait for them to come out of the building to try and sneak up on the rest of the I've lost one. Three's lost one. Yep. As far as as far as the delay goes, Demine's definitely he's he's burned through 20 minutes of time, but he's also burned through almost half his platoon. He's about a. Uh, Almost 20 casualties on the insurgent side, and they, they still have 25 more minutes they gotta hold out, so it's gonna be interesting to see how they use their limited reserves to, to try and continue to fend off the U.S. He seems to be uh, playing the objective, this is why in the brief we call them expendables. <laughs> no, I thought that was clever. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks like the, INS, uh, the U.S. have uh, finished clearing out the INS that were in the rear. They, I don't think they know that. The... SPG techies, it looks like, are, are on the move. They're in the center. The center MSR moving east. Looks No, looks like they've turned around. They're moving west. I don't think they... I don't think these SPG techies realize they're about to run into a full... The full platoon. I have a guy that's on a rock. Can I drop a rally for him? We'll see. Really? This is where uh, proper scouting has, comes into play. They uh, need to know here, what they're running into. These, these techies will... They could volley off a, a striker in two hits each. Like... They, they can do it in a matter of, like, I'd say, like, 20 seconds. But if they get seen, if they get spotted, like, they're, they're going, done for. Yeah. They can easily get decrewed by a well, well-placed well M4 shot or just a, a so shot of the face. The yep. That and, that uh, insurgent squad uh, that was at the former S location of SPG Techies is now down to one guy. And then kind of the way this round's probably going to go from here on out. We got uh, we got about two U.S. squads facing down this one lone insurgent in this compound. Copy, this is pretty much how it's going to be from here on out, just because of the huge numerical two. advantage the U.S. have managed to build up for themselves. He's he's going to stay here and try and hold out, but the Americans are coming for him, and there's there's not a whole lot he can do about it. It looks got the, I two on the wall. It slow. We'll see. They have to uh, pick up the pace a little bit if they want to uh, finish this match Three, on time. Contact in the compound north of me. Did they uh, pick up the, the BRDM? I did not actually oh. see. Oh no, bad frag. Oh, he's going to kill himself? Oh no! He killed himself. Accidentally kills himself, and then... It looks like somehow the frag managed to shoot through the wall and wound those three Americans that were on it. Uh, that's that's a lucky bug. Uh, so there you go. Right, Nuke Dukem's life was not ridge, completely uh, given in vain. Although, never mind, the medic's healing them all. Oh, he actually got one! I can't, one of the nice. US soldiers okay, who was wounded died because of the frag it somehow splashed through the wall. All right, uh, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Good spot of luck. <laughs> looks yeah, there's looks like these there. techies have really moved. They're, they're moved to the most southern MSR, the, the road that the striker was just on. And uh, they've got a, a, an SL on here, uh, Burns. He's trying to get eyes on this uh, striker. And basically come up behind him. And that's how you really have to use these SPGs. And uh, it looks like the squad 2 is the, the most further squad back. Doesn't have anybody looking back at right now. And these SPGs are definitely well out of audio range, audible range. And uh, we'll see how close they can get before anybody, anybody reacts to this. Hopefully they don't run over any mines. That I, I think that's an ID that we see on the map, so they should be clear all the way there. I think they're gonna play it safe though. Right, they're gonna they're gonna the use still. the binoculars. Randy, they're gonna uh, the stop every few feet, make sure that uh, you're uh, not so spotted. I have a guy that sees contacts in the southeast. Contacts were spotted. Contacts were spotted on the southeast. They see these SPGs. Um, so their cover is blown. I don't know how much closer these guys are gonna get. They left a single, single person. No, there was two the persons, two people. Yeah, yeah, no. This, meanwhile, this, these SPGs right, squad were spotted. Squad one, let's keep moving while they're behind us. Squad two, you're to pull. Very unfortunate. Down. Meanwhile, on the fob here, it looks like we got some kind of interesting three, strategic choices. Pull, now, we have a BRDM bunker. The insurgents have built two high sandbags around the BRDM. Which gives it some some admittedly limited but still pretty decent protection against grenadier right, and lat shots. It looks like they've they've the kind of staked this compound defense Frank, here Frank, on the the 
abilities of the uh, the BRDM here. Like we got got just these sandbags all around. The visibility is going to be a little limited. It can't really see anything to its its north or really behind it all that well. But every U.S. soldier who comes through this gap in the wall right in front of it is going to die. There is that is a 14.5 millimeter auto cannon. There's not much that's going to survive uh, getting shot with that. These SPDs and on the actual, uh, have been spotted and they are being shot at. And it. The first one just got decrewed. One SPG techie has been shot out. The other SPG doesn't want to have doesn't want anything to do with it and is just bugging out. Looks like they're just gonna move off to the east and uh, break contact with what they see. Great job for the uh, the US having that rear security, always having eyes on that on their uh, on the back, just making sure they're not being stuck up down and it paid off. Yeah, copy. And uh, the US they they have the great numerical advantage and uh it's, it's looking really good for them we just yeah. gotta see how they actually if they can actually get into these compounds the if the uh ins can uh can hold out just uh 19 more minutes the time is running out they, they, they are delaying them a little bit the uh, majority of the us is moving the time is is certainly running out but with uh a Deficit of 20 people. It's it's questionable whether even with that BRDM with all these these nice sandbags and barbed wire the insurgents have any chance of holding out for that long. Is, the, uh, is there any way the striker can get that BRDM? That may be the, the striker. The striker might be able to get the BRDM, but honestly, the BRDM can be bypassed. There there are other ways into this compound. We have we have an entrance back here that's only guarded by a lone insurgent soldier. Uh, we have a whole wall that's got some breaks in it. It's it's no doubt a good spot. Just oh boy, it's starting to engage. And this, but, this other SPG just got spotted. Just got the gunner shot out. There's a single person on this, this SPG. Right, he now has to try and one man it. Smith is uh, just trying to get away. I, there's almost nothing he can do against this. There's it's there's six U.S. infantry with one SPG, and yeah, unless they were just super grouped they're together, they're 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 there's no way this SPG is going to be able to deal with that, that SPG is going to bug out. And it looks like a majority of this uh, action is going to now happen on this FOB as near near double the amount of US push into the uh, INS defense. Yep, we got a frag out here. It looks like we have the initial engagement here between the BRDM and uh, a whole US squad. The BRDM is not very effective because yeah, that wall in front of it's very yeah, severely limiting its visibility. It's it's been placed in a less than ideal location. Oh no! Oh. Got a casualty. Very good GL shot. Gets a counter frag, but uh, that was definitely squad worth it for them. Yeah. Compound, then you're gonna, you and squad four for are sure get worth the attack. kill. North this BRDM is clear. posting up here, and it looks like for the most part it's working as intended. The U.S. for some reason are not trying to flank around to the backside of this compound. It's, it's They're empty. Keep the BRDM to go down is this alley. It's, uh, being left to uh, engage. They definitely need to swing around. If they come in from the north, looks they're they're just completely bypassing this compound. They don't think it's in this compound. They think it's in the west compound with uh, the militia main on uh, All right, three's normally. Ready. But uh, yeah, they they've right, just finished cleaning it out. Looks like they're going to try and swing in from the north. That's right, probably their best bet. Down. They're they're yep. stacking. Four, they're going to try and push in together. And, pull three, six, and that's, that's going to be the way they're going to have to do it. You yeah. need to, you need to attack this from several angles, and don't let them, don't let them react. Basically, don't let them have time to react to one area. Make them have to turn their heads in several different areas, cause confusion, and it's just violent of action. Just use those GLs. Use the GL smokes. Use everything you have to uh, push in quickly and, and uh, efficiently. Honestly, the only thing we can save the insurgents now is if this this striker flips or something right, extreme here. happens that just Hamley completely goes, ruins uh, the U.S. ability to to engage offensively. But that does not look like how it's going to play out unless this SPG gets really lucky. Yeah, V44, yeah. and this is uh, round one. We've still got one more round after that, and the U.S. are Three ready for they have a, a nice, nice lead to say the least. U.S. continue to try and suppress the BRDM. I think they think it's an HMG, because that is what it was initially called out as. They, they didn't call BRDM, they called uh, Heavy Machine Gun. Oh, rocket goes out. American soldier is trying to uh, feverishly bandage, save his own life. Yeah, they're starting to move to the north. And there's 
Chu, Chu, INS have managed to slip in between this uh, the rear security for the U.S. and the majority of the U.S. platoon. We'll see if they're able to cause any damage. It doesn't look like it. They're, as soon as they fire, they're going to be spotted. Oh wow, two soldiers oh, dropped they, they by the BRDM one. cannon. Oh, and it's going on a rampage now. Three down. This BRDM wow. is going to start doing some work. They got to get the striker up here now and deal with that thing. They can they can easily take it out, but they actually have to get it up there first. These GLs are just hitting the sandbag walls completely ineffective against the BRDM. With only 15 minutes left, there's there's a slim possibility, but now a, a distinct possibility that the insurgents can salvage this round. This, I, this BRDM is going to have to get upwards of like 15 kills if it really wants to uh, pay dividends to what the, uh, US, the INS has oh, to Oh, another pay one goes down. It's, it's well on its way. That, that BRDM gunner is... Uh, See if I can figure out who that is. Silas. Silas is the BRDM Silas. gunner. Well, if I wanted, to, if I wanted to put my faith in anyone to get 15 kills in a BRDM, Silas would definitely be one of the people I'd, I'd pick to do that. Don't so. let him drive, but let him gun. <laughs> breach south com or north compound. So looks they've breached the uh, the northern compound. They've put, they've cleared out the northern compound of the. Uh, oh, not quite the though. There's this this HMG sitting here just waiting. Will Wait, this guy be? Oh no! It's not waiting at all. Oh oh. oh. Oh, fired just a little too early. Hanley screaming and running away as he should. Just Hanley's not gonna terrifying. go through that door. And still no US contacts pushing from oh, we got a buddy team finally, and it looks like another squad, squad one, starting to move. Uh, cover on striker. They're finally gonna breach this entrance over here, which okay. only has one insurgent guarding it in which the BRDM can't cover, so that that could be potentially uh, round altering for the United States here. That BCR. Oh, and they finally uh, yeah, are smoking they're gonna the smoke out the BRDM, which is probably their best bet at this it's point until they can get the striker up. I okay, believe I don't think right uh, Larue knows how many he's killed. Like it's he's talking, like he's keeping a full squad to to defend this uh, to defend the striker when he could be using that to uh, to push in. Yeah, and the, like they they don't. He's concerned about keeping the striker safe when he if he were to just roll this striker in and just get it get it mowing down that BRDM and anything on the outside this, this could be over soon. He's got 13 minutes yep. to make it happen. The US yet again fails to find this entrance over here on the right side of the compound. They continue to try and work towards the BRDM. It's it's almost like it's it's some kind of magnet that just draws them towards it. They they've uh this entrance over here just has one guy sitting on a Pillbox sandbag, but they're all clustered up around the entrance where the BRDM can shoot them. Oh, we finally got really one concerned pushback, about though. trying to get this this BRDM. Yeah. They, they they're they're very just want it dead at this point. It's it's yeah it's it's like the kind of thing in the back of their mind. They're they're thinking about that, which I don't know if that was intended by Demine, but it's it's very effective. They're focused on that instead of focused on the actual objective of pushing into the compound. Oh, and Smith, having just returned from his trek with the uh, SPT Techie, uh, just gets mowed down instantly from a phoenix overlord as soon as he gets back to the one part of the compound oh they're finally gonna push here, here. odess is about to make her push in she sees the pillbox but not the person inside oh and and it's who's gonna die oh odess is down but, so one for one. but at this yep, point one the, one any, any of those one for one trades on the u.s side is just it's worth it for them just they've got absolutely such a numerical advantage that it does at this point matter. it's it's four versus like four versus like 15 or 20. Oh, this is down I'm it's an extreme oh id what an id if he had waited just a We're few seconds longer push. that may have Could taken have out triple. upwards of like three oh, wait is the striker down yep however it's definitely going to slow him down 11 minutes left it's it's behind kind of, a bunch of sandbags right next to me i don't think they can hold it off for 11 minutes they might be able to manage another five at this rate but it's gonna be really hard to to pull off an 11 minute hold oh, with four people. They're just keeping this BRDM. Oh, the Dishka opens up. Oh no! Oh no! Misses. Two kills. No, he gets one. No, he gets oh. one. The other one is bleeding. No, no, no he bleeding. got he just... one ran out into the open before yeah, he opened fire. Oh, oh, he's, uh, oh, dead he by the did. BRDM now. Yeah. Yes, that was did. the squad lead. That's Hamley. Oh no! <laughs> the the GLs are the trying to get rid of the BRDM. There you go. The striker. There you go. The striker sees it and engages. That may be the nail in the coffin. But right it's there missing. It's shooting over it. It's oh no! It's hitting a little. It's hitting enough. Yeah, yeah, they're taking it out. And, and the, the insurgent gonna... did Silas. Silas hops out and runs, runs for his life into the compound. 
terrified. That that may be the final nail. That was what was holding the uh, the entire northern flank for the uh, the U.S. It, the entire yeah, northern flank was being held out by that BRDM, and now that now they're just free to. Completely Divine himself on the Dishka is now trying to hold off the remains of Odessa's squad. And doing a pretty good job. He's got one pinned on the door there. Squad 2's pushing in though, and it's it's this is going to be the end right here. Unless they... Oh! Silas is down. It is 16 on 4 right now. 16 on 5. There's one On 2 at this point. We've just had uh, two casualties on the Insurgent side. Oh wow. Oh wait, no. Sorry, I can't see Silas because I, I he was in the BRDMs. So let's... Get him back. Yeah, There's 16 on 3. Four. Uh, he, 4, I see. Four, or no, 4, five. sorry. Yeah, I just 4 on the compound, uh, and then there's 1 on the other. There's 1 on the other. It's huh. like the Silver Man. Silver Man is on the northern compound. He's the last one in those little storage compartments. I guess when if, when they hop out of vehicles, the highlight goes away. Silver Man's chasing. I don't, that's, that's a bold move. Oh, oh he, he was a frag. He had some oh. somewhere. The frag got one. What's it looking like? Uh, nice. 9 we'll minutes. Nine minutes, and they have to clear out four insurgents. Have they taken out D Mind? D Mind is still alive. D Mind is, is manning a dish on target. the objective. The high value target is still alive. The U.S. cannot yeah. evac. They cannot go to their expo location until that high yeah. value target is down. Squad two, have you got that compound that right, you're next to you right there? There's... Uh, there's a disco right inside, and we can't get past this entrance. Do you have frags? 12 on 4. They, they, they're they evening up. it up. It's, it's getting closer and closer. We'll see. They have, uh, the U.S. have eight, eight and a half minutes left. Tossing in the remainder of their frags. Yep, Let's smoking it out. Lucky. They're, they're hoping these smokes will prevent Demine from killing them all as they rush in. We should have more people with frags. Uh, we got a. We looks like an SKS might have picked up a kill there, at least wounded someone. Yeah, they're tossing frags and smokes. Down. All manner of grenades. We got three insurgents in the building over there on one side, and we got Demine here on the other with this Dishka just, just holding this door. The question will be. Uh, can Demine last uh, longer than, than his ammo can? Because once this ammo can goes out, I'm not sure he can reload. No, i definitely not going to be able to reload in time if they uh, push oh. in. They have to use the smoke. Right now, the smoke is developed as it's going to be. Like, they, they have to. Oh, yeah. now the is going to start firing. Demine but goes to try and to, uh... scare them. Yep, you can't see anything, but he can definitely uh, try and. Uh... Try and get in there. They this they have to uh Do you want us to push in on this side? They're they're hesitant. They need to push in. Not from the east side. Oh, Jack's making the call. No eastern pushes. East. So their their only their only entrance is where the majority of the uh the uh, US are right now. Yeah, that's this, this SKS has eyes on it. That's not the greatest call by no. Jack there. Although he doesn't have, he doesn't know what we know, but still. Yeah, they're, they're scared of the, that Dishka. The entrance furthest from the HVT is where the U.S. will now enter, where they have the most contact. They've got three sets of rifles pointed at that door, and it looks like everybody is stacked up on it. Six minutes left. This is, uh... Oh! I hear a G3, but it's not... Is Demine perhaps, uh, not the squad leader on the Dishka? Oh yeah, Demine is over here in this building, never mind. There's 15 insurgents stacked up outside that door right now. Or 15 US stacked outside that door right now. And... Oh! Demine's reloading. Oh wait, is, is it... I'm no, sorry, it's... it's yeah, no, Demine is, uh, the one over here. I just kind of figured he would be there. But he's, no, he's over here in this, uh, this little building. The fob is going down due to U.S. proximity. So that Dishka is not long for this world. Yep, there's the Dishka. The 
Fob is down. Oh, the scout steps out to toss his frag. Grenade! Oh, not far enough. That would have been an impressive. Demine light. makes a run. Demine himself tosses the frag out. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Oh, it takes out one. It wow. Hurts another. That hurts two. It hurts two others. No, it takes out two. It took out two with that grenade and injured two others. Five minutes and eleven seconds. Oh, now they're now they're gonna try the east. Jack reverses yeah. his uh, earlier no east policy. He's gonna try and get them into the into the east now. Yeah, the dish has gone, but this the, the soldier's yeah. still here. They're trying. Now they're all <laughs> focused. Figuring out how to get in there. They're, it's almost like they they don't know how they want it. They know they need to get in there. They don't know how. The smoke is now actually making it impossible to push. Oh! Grenade takes out the the person on the outside. And damages the mind, who's now bandaging. All right, they're all going in. This is the end for the insurgents. The last stand of Demind. Right, Demind is about to get popped one. in the face. Demind takes two, two down. Demind takes two. Oh, Demind is dead. goes down. There's now one, 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 one INS left. left. They don't know that. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta get in there. <sighs> How many US are left? There's six, six US left. And he's dead. There, that's, that's that's the, the end last right there. INS. They're all gone. The striker goes. gunner actually GG. hopped out, came in and executed him. The INS actually pulled it back a little bit. They were they were up by almost 20 kills, and uh, the INS brought it back to within six. Like so, that last defense six minutes, and they had six within six, and they had three and a half minutes left. To finish the objective, like they played for time, they they almost brought it back. Guys. Okay. Like, it was a very, so very like it was well done, almost well just intense G -G. stealth in the beginning, and then it just it was a it was action packed right at the end. Like Honestly, that was a uh, that was a really good round. Everyone here, good game. Yep, Silas got nine kills in the BRDM, which not not quite the fifteen we'd hoped, but he he gave it the good old college <laughs> well, try. Oh yeah, admin zero, community one. Well yeah, and uh, pops to command, leading the charge from the front lines. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a break while we uh, get set up for the next round. We'll see you in a uh, couple minutes. Should be, should be a quick one.